welcome back to my channel hope all is well today i am doing a get ready with me for valentine's day aka date night in case you haven't got a valentine starting off moisturizing my face using the biotherm blue therapy accelerated it's a moisturizer and serum i'm actually loving this product at the moment and it leaves my skin so soft and supple Prying my face using the urban decay quick fix spray and then I'm going to attack my brows. As you guys know, I'm not the biggest fan of my brows. I'm using the Joan Collins Timeless Beauty Brow and Eye Definition Kit. It's so cute, you can pop this in your handbag. I like the small little brush and the um, applicator brush. So I'm just using the darkest color in the palette to define my brows, just doing light strokes with this brush. going to define and conceal using the LA Pro Concealer in the shade Almond. Go over my eyebrows with the Iman Cosmetics Eyebrow Pencil in Darkest Brown. And then I'm going to use Brow Cut, which is a eyebrow gel, fixing gel to keep all the hairs in place and just brush them upwards. I'm then going to do some eyeshadow. I'm not the best at eyeshadow, but I want to try some NARS Smudge Proof Eyeshadow Base. I'm going to put that all over my eyelids. I'm then going to use these two eyeshadows from Sarah Hill the shades French Grey and Treasure Chest. I'm applying treasure chest all over my eyelid and then I'm going to apply French grey to highlight and then do a combination of blending that in. I'm then going to go to my Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and using one of the light colours at the end of the palette, I'm just going to blend where the crease is. I'm making this all up guys, I don't have a clue, I just wanted it to look pretty and look like a cute eyeshadow look. <laughs> You know, I'm still very new to makeup. I'm just playing around and having fun with it and seeing what looks I can create. I think I did an okay job. So I'm just using a bit of the LA Pro Concealer to highlight under my brow bone and then I'm just gonna blend it all in. To foundation, I'm using NARS's All Day Luminous Weightless Foundation in the shade Macau. I haven't got my hands on the new one yet, the Radiant one, but I'm gonna get that very soon and compare because I love NARS's foundation. I'm gonna use my foundation brush from the Body Shop just to buff it into my skin, and then using my Real Technique sponge to make sure that it's all blended and even. I explained previously, my neck is darker to my face, so I always pick a foundation shade that matches my neck. So under my eyes, I'm going to use NARS's Radiant Creamy Concealer. I use two shades, Amande and Biscuit, and just blend them into my skin. I'm then going to use a combination of two setting powders, the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder and the Sasha Buttercup Setting Powder and set under my eyes. I use a small eyeshadow brush to set under my eyes because I feel like it gets into the eye area better. And as you can see, they're matte. And then I'm gonna use the remainder of that powder to set the rest of my face. in the shade deep neutral and blend that into my skin I'm 
bronze my face a bit using the Body Shop bronzer in 006 and just go across my cheeks and my forehead making sure that it's looking all glowy and sun-kissed and then I'm going to move to blush this is the Bare Minerals Gen Nude in the shade Merlot and I'm going to buff that into my cheeks it's giving me a warm colour To highlight lips I like to set my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray it wouldn't come out the bottle I was just trying to get it out set my face and then I'm going to do my eyeliner to the Joan Collins Timeless Beauty Eyeliner trying to get a very precise line and wing I'm going to use the Kiss Lash Couture Lashes in Midnight and the Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe to put on these lashes. They are so glamorous and fabulous. They give me that kind of old school 1950s look. Glue is drying. I'm going to apply some mascara on my lashes using Charlotte Tilbury Full Fat Lashes Mascara. If you had asked me a year ago to put on lashes, I would have laughed at you because it took me a good 25 minutes to put on lashes back in the day. Now I think I've got it down to like two minutes, but I am not the best person when it comes to putting on lashes, but I got these bad boys on and they are so gorgeous. Moisturise my lip using the Dr. Lip Original Nipple Balm. I love this, it leaves my lips so moisturised. The hair, I'm going to let my makeup sit for a bit. I'm using the Tony and Guy Heat Protection Mist and the Tony and Guy Leave-In Conditioner. And I'm going to put some curls into this wig. Turn off my hair, I'm going to detangle each section and then I'm going to put some curls in it using my Babyliss curling iron nothing special just curling it up and then I'm going to pin them into place the reason why I pin them into place is because when they cool down they set so if you want to have curls that last all day make sure you pin them I had to put on my protective glove because I kind of forgot you know it's a bit hot so I'm um, just setting them into place using a duck bill clip for each section details about this wig in the description box I've had this wig for nearly two months I've curled it tonged it blow dried it straightened it everything and it's still intact I absolutely love this wig is setting and cooling down I'm going to apply my lipstick using the NARS pencil to line my lips and then I'm going to use the Sarah Hill lipstick in the shade Valentina this is a beautiful kind of pinky red it's so gorgeous I like to use my Iman Contour Trio and do a combination of the two lightest shades and just apply them to the high points of my cheek, my nose and forehead. Spray again, the Urban Decay all nicer because we don't want this makeup to go anywhere and then I'm going to start to take down the curls. taken down I'm going to finger comb them out to loosen them up and use a wide tooth comb to style and place the hair the 
then placing my Batiste hairspray, making sure these curls don't move, putting my earring, extra glow, I'm going to use my Parma's Cocoa Butter to make sure my skin is on and popping. There's nothing worse than having an amazing face and hair and then having ashy and dry skin. Finished look, what do you think? It is a soft yet sexy and sultry look. I think it looks like, you know, you made an effort. You didn't go too far, but you made it a nice effort. It's everything that I used to create this look in the description box below, so make sure you check that out. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. New to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. And I hope you have a great date night, ladies. Until next time, bye. Must